Hey everybody, Mike here with everything about concrete.com. So like the thumbnail said is, did I really let Tia run the Vibra Screed today? Well, you're just going to have to stick around and, and wait and see. Um, towards the end of the video, I'm going to show you if she really ran that Vibra Screed or not. So what we're doing here today is we're pouring about a 2200 square foot house floor. It's got radiant heat tubing in it. It's four inches thick. We're using a 3500 PSI concrete with fiber mesh. And we, we're using MBW's Screed Demon Viber Screed today to do this. So you get to see how that works. Uh, we've used it on a previous floor in case you saw it on one of my other videos. It does, it works really good. We really like it. So you're going to get to see how it works on this floor. So what we're doing is we're getting the concrete all dumped out. We're getting the first truck. We got two trucks here today. We got about 21 yards. So two, two full trucks we got for this floor. And we're going to get the first truck dumped right out, get him headed back so they can reuse him for somebody else. And then uh, we're going we're gonna to start screeding this down. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm vibrating that edge there, that wooden formed edge, so it's nice and smooth when we strip that form. And I'm getting my grade shot. This floor is all flat with the top of the, the, top of the concrete wall on the outside. So that makes it pretty easy pouring, too. We can match the top of that wall. And then I can shoot my pads right even with that on the inside, my wet pads, using my laser. Um, that laser is the, my, you know, the Topcon RLH5B. That's the one I use for pouring my concrete. It's the one I recommend for pouring concrete floors. So, you know, if you're looking for a laser, it, I'll have that down in the description. You can check that out. And that DeWalt uh, pencil vibrator, I have that down in the description too, guys. Like... We use that all the time to vibrate our boards, our forms, to get really smooth edges when we strip the forms. And I highly recommend that also. So what Luke and I are doing right now is we're, we're screeding off of that wet pad to, to make our pad to use when we use the Screed Demon Vibra Screed. So we'll get our pad there in the middle, and then you'll see that makes it real easy for me to use this. And that's what we go by to get our floors nice and flat. So this Screed Demon, it's, it's really lightweight. It's got a Honda motor. Um, it's made by MBW. It's, it's an American-made company. They have all kinds of concrete tools. they got compaction tools. they got all kinds of stuff. You could check them out at MBW.com. I'll have a link for them down in the description. But this Fiber Screed, I mean, it's, it's right up our alley. It's what we do. It's what we use. So... It's probably one of the lightest Viber Screeds I've ever used, and it's, it runs really smooth. And you can see how easy it makes it screeding the floor. I mean, all I'm doing is I'm basically giving it about half throttle, and I'm just watching my two ends, make sure my two ends are touching. And then Tia and, and Darren and now Luke there, they're just puddling the concrete behind me, making sure it's not too low and not too high. and I just slowly walk backwards, steady and slowly without stopping, and it gives you a really nice flat, screeded surface right there. It also makes the bull floating really easy, so, you know, when you vibrate the surface like that, it gives you a lot of paste at the surface, so it makes the bull floating really fast. Now, we, we Viber screed a lot of our bigger flat floors like this. Um, some of our smaller floors, the, the little garages, floors that have a slope to it, floors that have a lot of drains to it, we'll still hand screed those. We're old school. We were brought up just hand screeding. So, I mean, that's, that's our pastime. So we don't mind hand screeding at all. But whenever we get the occasion to use a Viber screed, you know, we'll, we'll take it out and we'll use it. You can see that. It says Screed Demon right on the... Right on the blade there. That's a 12-foot blade, too. They make longer ones, shorter ones, but we generally like the 12-footer. It's a pretty good good blade. A 14-footer would be, you know, we use a lot of 14-foot screeds, too, so that would be right up our alley, but we just keep the 12-footer on this one. It's pretty early in the morning here. This is like 6.30 in the morning. We always stop pouring our floors real early. It was actually a little chilly this morning. You can tell by our sweatshirts on and our hoods on. It was a little windy too, so that even made it a little colder. But 
this floor, I mean, uh, uh, come back and see part two. I'm going to show you how we finished this thing. It dried really, really fast, even though it was chilly out. So you'll get to see that in, in part two of this. So there I am, I'm making some more wet pads in around those pipes, making sure we get the floor really flat in around the pipes. I'm using about an eight foot screed now. Striking my pads with that. And then we'll we'll get as much concrete dumped out as we need to to, to screed it. We like dumping out quite a bit of concrete at one time and then and then getting it screeded. So we like to have plenty of concrete on the ground to work with. Instead of just dumping out one bay and getting it screeded and then another one, we like dumping a bunch right out. But that comes with experience, comes with uh, you know how fast, how comfortable you are with working with the concrete. If this is your first time watching me, my name's Mike Day. I own Day's Concrete Floors Incorporated. I've run that business for over 35 years. We specialize in all types of concrete flat work. So this is my channel. I put out a bunch of videos. I put out a couple a week about concrete stuff. So if you like that kind of stuff, you know, please hit subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And if you're finding any value in a video like this, you know, go down, down there and smash that like button. That, that ranks me better with YouTube. YouTube likes that when you guys smash that like button. So, you know, go ahead and pound it and help me out. And you, YouTube will show my videos to more people, which will hopefully help more people in the long run learn how to do this. Now Darren's going to grab onto that thing and... He's going to vibra screed that bay. You can see the truck's pulling around back so we can finish that house up. You know, make sure you stick around to see if T is going to use that. If we're going to let her use it or not, you're going to see here pretty soon. So, does she dare use it? You know, this is Tia's second summer working for me. She's, Tia's my daughter, in case you guys don't know. Uh, she's in college right now. But this is her summer job. So, this is her second summer doing this. And she's really picking up the trade really well she she's learning the skills and she can she can go ahead and do things now without being told without having to be watched so she's she's really picking it up really good we're getting down towards the end of this floor now Darren's gonna finish up by Vib Vibra over there Luke's bowl floating right now it's really, like I said, it's really fast bow floating when you have a Viber screed like this versus hand screed. Sometimes hand screeding, you know, you may have to go over the same spot twice to get it nice and smooth, but with a Viber screed, you just go over it once. You can see that mix we use. That It's a pretty good mix. It's not too rocky. It's pretty creamy. It flows pretty good. We use a what's called a water reducer in the concrete, so it allows us to pour about a 6-inch slump that water reducer does without adding too much water to the mix so it doesn't weaken the mix at all if we add a little bit of water to it and and get it up to a nice workable mix it just I mean when you pour concrete every day you want something that's pretty nice to work with you don't want to be fighting the concrete every day you get real rocky bony concrete what we call it um, this stuff it mag floats really easy it screeds easy it both floats easy so it you know the the concrete batchmen around here where where I live they're pretty easy to work with if if you need the mix design tweaked a little bit they'll tweak it for you so here's if you're gonna here's where you're gonna see if T is really gonna vibra screed or not we got we had this little patio out back about 20 by 18 and we're gonna see if she, if she can run that thing or not so just stick around here for a minute and see I'm gonna get the edges all magged I'll I'll get my pad shot in the middle. We'll get that struck. And then I'm going to get the Viber screed on there and see if she can run it. So there I am. We got the pad nice and level. Luke and Darren are striking the center pad. And I'm getting the Viber screed out. So what I'm doing is I'm just showing her this. Look, this is about the angle you need to have it at. You give it a little bit of throttle and pull back nice and even on it. And we'll see how easy or hard it is to, to run for her. She's pretty sharp. She's a really good athlete. She's a superstar basketball player. She won two state championships in the state of Maine. Um, so she can she picks up on stuff pretty quick. 
just like anybody, you know, you got to show them how to do it right the first time, and then after that, she's got a pretty good idea about how to do it. So there she is. She's running the Viber Screed, guys. You know, how many of you guys out there know of a woman that runs a Viber Screed? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen one. This is the first time, so... MBW, uh, let me know if, if if you know of any women that have run your Viber Screeds. If this is T is the first one, then that's a pretty cool thing. So just like you know, she was a little nervous, like anybody. And I'm as a proud dad, I'm getting some pictures there. I, th I thought that was pretty cool. But you know, there's always a, a first time for for doing anything. That was her first time running the Viber Screed, so. Now she'll be a little more confident at it the next time I ask her to do it. And before you know it, she'll be Viber Screeding the whole floor. So she did it. She did a really good job on that bay. We didn't have to go back and touch it. I mean, you know, she screeded it really well. And now so we can get that second truck out of there. I'm just finishing it off to speed things up just a little bit. We don't like having the trucks around much, you know, they want to get them back. The concrete companies around here are really busy, so we're going to finish that up and, and get him washed up so he can get out of here. And you can see Tia's over there running the bull float now, which that helps us out a lot. It takes one thing off our our uh, uh, shoulders that we don't have to do if she can just get, it, get everything bull floated. And that's it. So Tia does really run the Vibers Creed, guys. In case you were wondering, she did do it. She did a really good job. And I'm looking forward to her doing it on future floors. If you like the video, please like, you know, share it with your friends. Show everybody that a woman can run a Vibers Creed and do it well. And we'll see you on the next video, guys.